today's video is going to be August favourites, which I apologise for it being late. I have been quite busy, so I thought I would get it just get it done now. As you can see, these are have been my favourites for this month, the things I've been liking. There's not many. But I haven't actually been using that many products. Like I've not really been using makeup, so not really got anything to like on that terms. I have to quite I do skin products first. The first thing I've been liking is the cleansing whites by Sainsbury's and these are like the vitamin E for all skin types. And obviously when I think of buying own branded wipes, I don't expect them to be any good, especially supermarket ones. But these are very good, they do cleanse very well, they clean extremely well for like the price. They're, I think they're only about pounds or 80p or something like that. And they just feel very refreshing, they've got a nice smell to them but they don't stink and they don't obviously sting when you've got sensitive skin because normally when it says all skin types it's not really suitable for sensitive skin but it does work and they do take off makeup quite well not I don't know about um, foundation because I don't wear that but but like the basic makeup they do take off and they do leave your skin feeling very soft the next favourites I have from the Garnier range and I do have obviously the face wipes as well but I haven't used them yet so I've got to use up these ones first. So the first one is the Fresh Essentials. They're all from the Fresh Essentials range with grape extract and this is the Freshing Cleansing Lotion. It's about three two pound two or three pound each I think. Normally you'll find them on offer quite often in the supermarkets. But I've been loving these, so I've just started using them. As you can obviously tell from the top, I do often forget to do my skincare, which is really bad. And this is obviously just the refreshing toner with the same grape extract, and I've been loving these. I think for the price, they're really good because they're not too expensive, but they're not cheap and nasty. And they do really do the job. This. Um, so the cleanser cleans really well and they both leave your skin feeling refreshed and quite soft. And I think it says they're for normal to combination of skin, but because I have because I have dry, very dry and sensitive skin, I actually found they work. A lot of ones for combination of skin obviously don't. And they can I found in the past a lot of make my skin sting and like red and then sort of flamed. But these are very gentle on your skin, they don't um, break, cause breakouts and make your skin red and sore. So I would definitely highly recommend buying those if you're looking for a decent sort of skincare range that isn't highly expensive but still does the job. The next product I've been loving for the last couple of months and I'm nearly finished is the Dove Damage Therapy Heat Defense and it's Heat Activated Protect Mist and this is 150ml bottle it's about £2 I think from Boots quite often it's on offer for like half price and I found this to really work at first it did make my hair quite feel funny after I sprayed it and dried it but I just put it in once I've dried before I dry my hair because my hair does have lots of split and can get damaged a lot so I would highly recommend that it's just really done the job and for the price it's really good the next um sort of I'd say skincare sort of beauty thing I've been liking I saw this on, I'm trying to think whose video it was, Chloe Murray I think her video, she did like what's in my bag and I saw this 
and I'd never seen it before in boobs and I know they have a natural collection but I thought that was just makeup and I turned it I found this and it's normally two pounds but when I got it it was 50p and I have a vanilla one as well but it's sort of losing its scent already it doesn't really smell like vanilla so this is the World Strawberry Body Spray for Natural Collection in Boots and it's just a really really nice smelling body spray and I quite like the fact that it's liquid so you can obviously see how much you have left and how much you've used which obviously with a spray you can't tell that and with obviously a like a spray you don't get as much in the bottle as what you pay for I wouldn't I might buy this again for the price of £2, which is not bad, bearing in mind a lot of body sprays are that anyway for a smaller bottle. Because this is 150ml and will last quite a while. And obviously, I can't get it off, but it's just like a pumping spray, like most of them are, just pump it down like this one. And it's got a really nice smell to it, but I can't work out what smell is, I know it's strawberry but someone said it smells like cow pom, but I'm not sure it actually does but yeah, it does really sp it kind of smells like strawberry ice cream a bit I think would, I would buy that again and recommend it if you like like fruity flavours or fruity smells, not flavours and the three things non beauty things I've been liking there isn't that much this month because I couldn't think of anything and these are the three items. So the first one is this really cute diary which looks a bit like catechism but it's not. It's just a mid-year diary because I needed a new one because the one I got at the beginning of the year was rubbish and half the writing was in a different language which doesn't help. This was off eBay and I'm not sure if it's still selling. If it is I'll put the link in the description box. I think a lot of people would like this because of the, obviously flowery and polka dot and it was about £1.50, £2 I think which isn't that bad and it's just obviously a small one to put in the handbag it just helps because I like having diaries and I can't go without writing stuff down if I'm organised the next thing I've been liking is actually a game which I only got about two weeks ago I think and it's obviously on the Wii but you can get it I think you can get this one on the DS but I'm not sure it's just the Animal Crossing let's go to the city one and I've been playing it recently and it's a really fun game I didn't think it'd be that good because it obviously looks quite childish but it is really good and really be enjoying it and I would recommend it if you like games like this because it's a bit like The Sims like sort of a weird version of The Sims I'd say if you like The Sims I think you'd like this and I would recommend sort of looking at it and getting it because I've been really liking this and I heard good reviews from people saying they liked it and that this one's not too bad. I don't think it's good as the new leaf one, but that's not out on the Wii for some reason, only the 3DS. And this was about, I think, £15 second hand, which isn't that bad. So if you're into games, I would check this out, see if you might like it. And the last favourite I've had is probably my favourite thing, I've always been a complete lifesaver at the minute, is my new notebook. Well, it's a laptop, but I would call it a notebook, because it's only obviously 10.1 inches across. And it's the Asp Asaya Aspire one, I can't actually say it properly. And it's just in light dark red, obviously. And if I can open it up one-handed, which I normally can. And it just looks like this and I've been after a laptop for ages because my last one died 
couple months ago and it was not even that old, it was brand new. And it was an actual um, big one, obviously this is a proper laptop. But this, I've been loving this at the moment because it's just so much easier than using a desktop. And obviously it's Windows 7 so I can edit or do videos on Movie Maker. I can't edit because I film my phone. It's obviously Windows 7 and it's pretty much it's second hand. I bought it for about £70 but it works really, really well. You wouldn't think it's second hand. And it just really does the job when I'm on the internet and studying and stuff better than using my phone. So I've been really liking that. And hopefully it will last longer than my last one because I do have Obviously my phone, which is a smartphone and a tablet, but it's just better to have a laptop. And it's small enough that if it was still working by then, I could take it to college and stuff. And it's just easier to work from. I'm just trying to find a case for that at the minute. So that is my August favourites. And I'm hoping I, I might do September ones, but I'm not sure I have that much to like. So that's it for my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.